I'm saying it publicly that if they can just do mass burial for all our leaders <laughs> and let we the youth start ruling. While Nigerians pray for the death of their president, Tanzanians mourn deeply the death of their president, John Magufuli. <laughs> Do you want to know why they cry this much? Watch this video to the end. This is BBI Channel 1. You're welcome back on this platform where we tell you undiluted truth. I am Asu Janet Peters, the voice of the people, the voice of God, the voice of our ancestors, and a Pan-Africanist to the core. Now, in my previous video, I asked why patriotic African leaders die so quickly and particularly John Magufuli the people of Tanzania unanimously with no difference showered praise to their late president they remembered him for all the great things he has done for them I want you in a jiffy to Listen to the summary of the man's life as a president of Tanzania. John Pombe Magufuli burst into international prominence on the 5th of November 2015 when he was sworn in as the fifth president of the Republic of Tanzania. His radical measures to reduce government corruption and spending while also investing in Tanzania's industries defined his early legacy. During his first few days in office, he pulled funds intended for Independence Day celebrations and directed them to anti-cholera operations before moving on to shake up the Tanzania Port Authority and Tanzania Revenue Authority in what appeared to be a genuine war on corruption. The anti-graph stance quickly won Magufuli attention and admiration worldwide. On social media, he was celebrated with the hashtag, what would Magufuli do? But whilst the world may have just chanced upon this radical leader, Tanzanians had watched him rise from a teacher to the country's highest leadership position. Magufuli was born in Chato, Gator region, on the 29th of October 1959, the son of a peasant farmer. He completed his bachelor degree in chemistry and maths at the Dar es Salaam University in 1988 and worked as an industrial chemist until 1995 before venturing into politics. <laughs> First elected as a member of parliament in 1995, he then served in the cabinet of Tanzania as deputy minister of works from 95 to the year 2000, minister of works from 2000 to 2006, minister of lands and human settlement from 2006 to 2008, before taking over the livestock and fisheries docket from 2008 to 2010. He then returned to the Ministry of Works for a second stint between 2010 to 2015. Now, before he was president, he had already acquired the nickname The Bulldozer for driving a program to build roads as the Minister for Works and later was hailed for his anti-corruption stance and his distinct dislike for wasting money. Magufuli won the 2015 presidential election under the ruling party CCM or Chamacha Mapinduzi. And on his first day in office in November 2015, he made a big impression by making a surprise visit to the finance ministry to check on how many people had actually turned up to work, sending a message that he would not tolerate lateness in the civil service. <laughs> That same week, he also banned all foreign trips for public servants, with a 2017 Central Bank report showing that this move saved the country 47 billion Kenya shillings in one year alone. But his reputation changed when he started cracking down on the opposition and the press. Critics accuse him of overseeing the closure and suspension of numerous media outlets. 
In addition, his administration has been accused of silencing the opposition and prosecuting critics under new laws. But his biggest controversy yet regarded his stance on the novel coronavirus, which was declared a pandemic by the World Health Organization on the 11th of March 2020. Magufuli has played down the threat of COVID-19 in Tanzania and scoffed at the global panic. He urged Tanzanians to put faith in prayer and home remedies such as steam inhalation rather than vaccines, which he said were dangerous and part of a Western conspiracy. Tanzania stopped reporting coronavirus data in May 2020 when it said it had 509 cases and 21 deaths according to data held at the World Health Organization which has called on the country to share its most current information. Tusipaniki. Tuendelee kuchapa kazi. Uzalishaji uendelee mara dufu zaidi. Relations between Kenya and Tanzania have also been strained under the reign of President Magufuli. In 2018, Tanzania tightened her borders along Namanga, restraining Kenyan businessmen from entering the country. Reports indicating that Dar authorities seized chicken from Kenyan traders. <laughs> Previously, Magufuli had sparked a row when he seized cattle belonging to Kenyan Maasai herders and threatened to auction them. There have been numerous attempts to reconcile these East African neighbors, but the jury is still out on how successful those measures were. Magufuli was married to Janet Magufuli and they have five children. You saw his numerous achievement. Who will not miss him? Tell me who will not miss John Magufuli as a Tanzanian with all that he had done. He is everything many African leaders are not. Especially Nigerian. He is direct opposite of Nigerian political class beginning with their president. You know, I am dedicated to highlight on the life and time of John Magufuli. These are the men that inspired me. These are the men, when I look up to them, I have hope for Africa redemption. But their lives are always cut short. Why? I keep asking. Why? Africans, we must protect patriotic African leaders wherever we see them for the benefit and prosperity of Africa. Everything you had Magufuli achieve is what Nigerians are being denied. Yet, they call this miserable country. They call this crime against humanity. They call this British colonial contraption, Nigeria, the giant of Africa. I am ashamed of it. Nobody should. They are not. They are only giants in corruption. They are only giants in impunity. They are only giants in suppression and subjugation of the ordinary people. That is where you see their giant strides. But when it comes to economic development, when it comes to allegation of poverty, when it comes to security, when it comes to infrastructural development, when it comes to employment, when it comes to health care service delivery, when it comes to education, they fail woefully. John Magofeli is the kind of African leader we all need. We all need to sort out for. It's unfortunate that many African people will end up trying to bring down or uproot 
the very kind of patriotic leaders they will suppress them they will not give them the opportunity to assess corridors of administration not even power so that they will be able to make impact and I must tell you if you check very well those that are being used to bring down good and patriotic African leaders are African people Aye! they are African people within inside for the benefit of the colonial masters and the powers that be let me talk them There is no way to, there is no how we can go about this. All I want to do is to open up the consciousness of African people, beginning with Nigerians. Because Nigerians are victims of Nigeria. We need to sort out for this kind of man. In all spheres of our governmental activities. Leadership position. That is why we will stop at nothing. Beginning with Anambra State, my home state. You do that for your own state. Try as much as possible to ensure you get this kind of people, rally around them, support them, push them, sponsor them. That money you are contributing to build cathedrals where you go and, and pray for miracle jobs and miracle healings. Whereas you can use that money to create employment for your youths and also build hospitals that we take care of your health service delivery no you will not use those money package them use it to sponsor people like john mago fully we have many of them at least some of them they are there but you will not because you take bribe because you suspect everyone that will not give you palliative or bribe to buy your vote. The job to lead the Bekos Gwete go ya or ya or ya kuko go election. You see, go and ask Tanzanians how this man came to power and how they supported him. Then you will understand that it is possible. It can happen right here. I'm signing out, and this is all I bring to you. Share this video. Let the discussion continue. Help to spread the message. Let African mind be liberated. So that we can be free share this video that is the least you can do subscribe to this platform if you have not this is a family we are heading somewhere we must liberate africa and it starts with you and i welcome on board if you are new on this platform subscribe hit on the um, notification bell so that you'll be getting updates whenever we upload videos follow us on all our social media platforms facebook twitter instagram visit our website bvh1.com for uncensored news update download our mobile app from play store and i bet you you stay connected to this voice stay safe my people bye bye